Lent Day 39. Jesus has the winning ticket. Retain the standard of sound works which you have heard from me in the faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. Guard through the Holy Spirit who dwells in us the treasure which has been entrusted to you. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verses 13 and 14. Quick view. The word of God, it is a treasure. The grace of Jesus Christ, it is a treasure. Your faith, it is a treasure. Enjoy them. Question, what are we guarding? Your treasure is the love of Jesus Christ in your heart when you accept him as your Lord and Savior. That is a treasure more valuable than anything in the universe. The forces of evil will work to steal it away because of its great worth. You guard it through the Holy Spirit strengthening you through communication with Him, through absorbing God's Word, and through community with other believers. Application There has been lottery mania around the country this week. The Mega Millions lottery hit a record high of $640 million. There are a lot of people who don't normally buy tickets who did this week in the hope of not just becoming rich, but becoming mega rich. Personally, I have never been too much of a lottery person. Back in the 70s, when the first Ohio lottery occurred, I bought a few tickets. When I lost, I was disappointed, with a a little less money also. I've always been frugal, okay cheap, so that turned me off. I am in a... Lottery club at work. We throw a dollar in per week and pool our money. I started this because if my co workers won the lottery, they would all quit. I didn't want to be the only one left. My favorite lottery story occurred one day on my commute to work. I daily prayed while driving. That day, traffic caused me to take a secondary route. I had just asked God for direction in my life and looked up and saw the lottery jackpot sign for $30 million. I was baffled. Normally, I would ignore the sign, but the timing and circumstances made me delay. What if God was telling me something? Should I ignore it? Of course, I didn't. I felt if God wanted me to win, I would only need to buy one ticket. I did didn't happen. I guess it wasn't a sign. I didn't want God to tell me later, I sent you a sign to buy that lotto ticket. Oh well. So, I've experienced the frenzy that everyone is going through. For the price of a lottery ticket, I can have dreams of being rich. Dreams of never having to work again. Dreams of taking care of my family. Dreams of traveling and doing exotic things. My only cost for these dreams is the price of a lottery ticket. When reality sets in and we don't win, we go on looking for that next thing to dream about. There is a difference with the lottery and God's kingdom. Winning the lottery has odds that are very much against us. Entering God's kingdom is a 100% chance once you accept Jesus' sacrifice for your sins and follow his path in your life. Winning the lottery isn't going to make all of your life easier. Sure, you can pay the bills, but what are you really looking for in life? Following God isn't going to reduce all the bumps in life. He just gives you strength to make them smoother. Winning the lottery gives you money. Following Jesus gives you life. Not only here, but through eternity. Win the lottery and all of a sudden everyone is knocking at your door. Follow Jesus and you want to knock on doors to tell others. Win the lottery and you will pay lots of taxes. Follow Jesus and pay no more. He paid the price already. Instead of dreaming about how things would be different if you win, think about your life with Jesus and how things are better because you have won. Then dream about how great heaven will be. 
God, you are our mega treasure. Our relationship with you is worth, worth more than anything we could ever dream for. Open our eyes to see how great that is, both right now and throughout eternity. Send us your Holy Spirit to help us protect this precious treasure that you have provided to us.